Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add Juniper VSRX image in EVNG. So it includes only a few steps and it's very easy also. Uh, so it's not like very complicated as we do, you know, we did it in the previous images. So it's very easy. So first for that, you have to obtain KVM QCO2 images from Juniper website. So you can get the trial VSRX version. Yeah. Once you have the VSRX version, then we will create a directory under the QMU. Then we will move this QCOW image as per the EVNG naming convention. Then we will fix the permission. That's it. Only the three steps will bring up your VSRX up and running. But to get the uh, advanced feature, you need to get the you know, trial license from the Juniper. Let's do in practical. I did uploaded the VSRX image already in the EV. In my EV. In my EV, I uploaded in the temp folder. As you can see that. So you can see this. Already the QCO image is already available. I did uh, unzip that. So this image is already present. So in the next steps, is to create the directory for the SRX image. So that we will do in this step. So mkdir is a command. So which will create a directory, the new folder. Linux, yes, it is created. The next step is we will, we can verify or we can move it and then we will verify it. So, okay, so now I have to check the okay this one to this. Yes, it is moved now. I need to alter this my configuration in the copy. So yeah, this was not there, and this is the image was there in the folder. So I need to change it in my PPT. So anyway, uh, we are moved it now. So this is the naming convention for the SRX image in the EVE. So if you put like other images, other name in the naming convention, then it will not work because as a predefined script within EVNG, for VSRX, it will search with this particular name. So let's go to the folder quickly. Okay. Sorry, I didn't move it. I locally changed the name. So now I need to move the image. I didn't check the command. I thought that I given the path here. So it happens sometimes, but it's okay. So move slash version. That's it. It will move this file to that folder. Now you can see I don't have any file in my folder. Then let me go to the path. Let's verify. Yes, I have the image now. So now as we as I mentioned earlier that any image is added to the Eve, then we have to give permission to that image. We have to fix the permission. So it is under iPhone A permissions. So we are giving permissions. Yes. Okay, so it's fixed formation. Yes. Yes, now we are good now. So let's log into the EU now. So I've already logged in, but let me verify it. Yes, I'm going to create a new lab juniper vsrx so let me right click and select juniper yes. here you can see we have added the vcp and vfa for vmx in the previous video of the series and you can see now vsrx next generation firewall is added Here you can see this is the image. If you have different versions of image, 
you can drag and drop and select the image and you need two cpu and 4 gb of ram is required to run this image let me save it right click and do a start as usual it will take like three to four minutes to boot up so we have to wait for four minutes in the meanwhile i'll open the console so that we can see what is the process is going on how the image is getting passed now the router has come up let's log in we are just to update it took almost 15 minutes for the router to boot up means like this is a firewall vsrx to boot up it took almost 15 minutes to me so meanwhile i did waited for this to boot up yes you can see so that's all guys and you can start configuring and you can get a trial version trial license from the juniper in case if you want to do some advanced configuration hope you guys liked it and use this for to increase your knowledge and share it with your friends please subscribe and comment and like thank you very much for watching